Welcome to High Art Reviewing Stuff. Uh, so I've got a new Barbie color reveal. Uh, Sand and Sun series is what Amazon calls it. That's uh, the little image to look for. They never really named these, I don't think, on the packaging, but you'll see like different symbol. And this one's like light pink. Um, let me see, I'll even give uh, the code on this. Looks like it's 0321HF. So if you see these, I had to buy it off Amazon, but if you see them at Walmart or Target, if you happen to <laughs> like the one I got, um, then you can use that code, I think, to get the same one. These, in my opinion, are like the worst looking color reveal. They're going to have molded hairdos. And I think some people uh, were kind of confused that they're going to have molded hairdos. Um, color reveal has definitely been all over the place in like, what are you going to get? Um, cause I think like series one was like animal themed and then series two was the nasty scented wigs that did not smell good. Um, and then series three was like outdoor series, I think, um, which kind of gives me like a similar vibe to this one. I think it was an orange can. I want to say the first ones were dark pink, then the second was like green, and then we had orange, and then I even draw a blank on, I think the mermaid maybe had like teal tops or something, and then I already forget what shimmer uh, series had and the color block. Um, I'm not going to do the water, I'm going to do that um, off camera just because it's not going to be a wow factor the water reveal um if you want to see what it looks like definitely go check out melissa uh, my world she um shows what the like water reveal part is like i mean it looks really cool the way, i mean she has a whole like cool setup the way she does it um so it looks really cool for her but i mean she does point out that like all we're getting is this like light pink and white tie-dye paint like in the front but it's not in the back of the doll and I don't think it's enough of a contrast to really give us like a cool uh water reveal experience like I agree with her my favorite has definitely been the metallic paint that they put on the mermaids um so the mermaids are not perfect either like we get rooted uh hair for them so that's cool um since the wigs are terrible and then <laughs> shimmer series which came after the mermaids and color block has been after the mermaids this is like the seas the series white right before they did this um so she has a hair extension usually that you put in the hole in her head back there i actually think the molded hairdo they gave this one is really cute i like the little side uh braids and this little like kind of like whoosh of bangs um because I mean I part my hair kind of a similar <laughs> way um and she's got cute freckles and then I can tell she actually got like probably some lipstick when you put her in the freezer she usually has two earrings I could just only find the one so I did like that shimmer and color block gave earrings um I don't like the painted leggings uh on them or this like painted on swimsuit uh, that they give them. Then she came with a skirt that matches her, excuse me, top. And I want to say she probably came with, I, I feel like I saw maybe some red glasses that were probably hers. And I know she had shoes. I just uh, was quickly trying to find stuff. Um, the cool thing is with the Mermaid and the Color Block series is we actually have a complete family um, just by chance because I think the only thing we knew how to get for sure was the pet. You, if you see the Color Block series uh, pets at, in the store, you can see through the bag what color sunglasses you're going to get. So we knew how to get the red ones uh, that way. Um, but this is the little Chelsea. Um, and I think the dog changes to red on her. And she has the little, this is what the hair extension is pretty much like on this one that I just couldn't find. Um, so yeah, so Shimmer series. I want to say it was pink or purple metallic paint. Um, they've done some like, I don't know, day to night looks uh, that had like gold paint, which I did kind of agree with Melissa on that. That kind of looks like pee um, for the gold metallic paint. I think the slumber party 
maybe she was in silver metallic paint. Um, that one looked pretty cool. And the Slumber Party set, I would say, Marissa really, I think I got it for her for Christmas or something. Um, I think I was able to score it at a discount, um, like using a Target coupon or maybe I found it on sale or something. Uh, and she did really uh, enjoy that one because it's just tons and tons to open in the Slumber Party one. Now, before this catastrophe, they did give ones that are an actual Barbie. Again, I don't know why they're giving this whole painted leggings so you can never change. Like if um, you're gonna put her in a skirt or dress, like, you know, she's always gonna have, this as her legs. Um, I don't know why they're doing that. She's got the whole painted on swimsuit too. So you can't, like, you're a little limited on what exactly you can put um, on her top wise. Um, I think she had some color changes on her face, but I can't remember. Um, and I want some of them, I think also the hair. I think the mermaids and maybe these paint peel ones, uh, you could, the hair like changes color and heat or ice water, I can't remember. Um, so this is the first they finally gave that's not a mermaid uh, and gave rooted hair with the paint and peel ones. And there's a fairy and I think was this I think this was the hmm unicorn I think this is the unicorn theme I think the other one was maybe a mermaid uh theme one I don't remember if that mermaid is like this one because I don't like that this can't sit down so like I haven't photographed uh her as much as I probably would have liked to um just because she can't sit so it's and then she has this fabric tail so I mean it's always gonna be like that and I'm gonna have to prop her up against something <laughs> to take her picture. Um, so yeah, she hasn't uh, gotten photographed as much as I probably would have hoped for a uh, mermaid. Um, but the pets are really cute. I think a lot of people actually don't mind spending like $5 uh, for a little um, color reveal experience and get a cute little pet. Um, the mermaid ones actually came with these little seats that you could put on um and they have some accessories that you could easily probably the necklace is kind of big on this pet i think it's more meant to give to the barbie um but the headband goes pretty good i don't know if that fits on chelsea or the barbie very well that's the chelsea i think this is like an actual like giving her a second top um these are not in the greatest condition because marissa keeps them uh in the bathtub uh with her. So anyway, so it's cool. Like we just kind of magically got a matching mermaid set just by chance. Cause I mean, we bought them at Walmart, Amazon. Um, we only usually ever do one of these. Uh, so yeah, so I'll go ahead and get started on this one. It says there's a tear strip somewhere. Okay. I think here. So yeah, these ones are a total molded hairdo. You don't get a horrible wig or a hair extension, which this stuff never holds up over time. Just a heads up, it's gonna turn to a hot mess in no time. So I guess if you don't like the wigs, I mean, I, I don't know. I think Mattel maybe went too literal with this series being sand and sun, thinking that kids are gonna take it to the beach and you know maybe parents don't want to deal with sand getting in real hair so that's why they did molded hair um so yeah and unfortunately the checklist doesn't show everything because i know there's more to the series than just these five barbies there's gonna be some babies instead of pets um and those will probably be like five dollars like the pets are um but yeah there's only three molds, like two Barbies, these two right here have the same mold, and then those two have the same mold. You just can't really tell because of her visor. Um, so I like the middle one, the Flamingo, because she's the only one who doesn't have a repeat hair mold out of this series. Um, but also Pink Flamingo, I kind of want, um, just because I'm a John Waters fan. So hoping I get her, but I have a feeling I already felt... Yeah, there's two buns, so I either have 
the blonde hair girl with glasses or the one with the purple visor. Uh, so I'll show you guys what this looks like and then I'll have to do her full water reveal later. So yeah, that's okay. Let me see if I can make sure you guys can see. So it is actually a swirl design. It's totally pink back here, like no design at all. But the front of her, they did try, I mean, it doesn't even really look super white to me. It almost looks like a light pink and then an even paler pink in the front, which is probably why, like, when you go to, I don't know, to me, they should have done the whole thing and they should have made it like two very, very different colors so that maybe something cool would happen in the water. But still, it's a big maybe because the color block ones, I want to say they were like dark purple and then white and it wasn't like anything special with the water reveal. The metallic ones are really cool because like they look kind of like ocean water. Like even if you have the pink or the purple or the gold or the silver, like I would say the teal with the mermaid was the best. But if you have any of the other metallic paints they've done, uh, it is really cool looking. Um, so I don't mind this hairdo. I'd probably say I like this hairdo better than the other two possibility ones that are repeated uh, and then it looks like two no three have like a swim robe I guess it is and then two have like a the like kind of skirt wrap that some girls uh, or ladies will wear uh, for a swimsuit they all have shoes it looks like flamingo girl is actually the one who had different shoes as well it looks like uh the ones with the same hairdo actually have the same shoes, just in a different color. And uh, let's see what else I felt like. Yeah, there's two fanny packs. And I think they're not showing. Oh, yeah. I think the glasses, though. There's two that come with glasses, but I think their glasses are actually different. So anyway, let me open up the other surprises in here. So that way you guys at least know who I got. I'm thinking maybe... They give you a beach towel. I'm kind of like, maybe I can do something with the beach towel. So let's see, okay, this is her wrap. I don't know who we have yet, um, but it's kind of like this sheer, so I don't know. I was really disappointed that this is what we get because it's not really anything super cool to use on your other Barbies. Um, because it's just so beach theme, so literal, uh, that, you know, you really, I mean, what would you use this for besides a Barbie that has a swimsuit on? Um, so it's disappointing, um, to me. Let me see if I can figure out who we have. Oh, okay, I think we have the blonde hair one. Okay. Yeah, because I actually, I'm not a really big fan of the visor, even though Marissa would probably prefer her purple swimsuit. Um... Okay, so let's see what else we've got. So she has glasses. I know <laughs> I saw on uh, my world that, so I think these glasses, if you put them in ice water, the center parts will turn like pink, I think, or maybe it's the flower color changes. It could be the other glasses that I'm thinking of that color change in the middle. Yeah, based on the, okay. So yeah, I see on the checklist, they look kind of orange. So I'm guessing, I think the flowers on these will change to a color. Not real exciting for giving, um, like, I mean, if you look at the wrapper when you're like, you're like, oh, okay, I'm gonna get like a doll with like some sort of swirly cool design. She's gonna get like highlights in her hair and she's gonna have a color change accessory and then she'll have shoes and then she'll have either the robe or the little tie skirt thing. Um, yeah, just <laughs> not exciting. Okay. All right, so this is her towel, which I believe matches, I think it matches her swimsuit. Well, her swimsuit's gonna be white with like a, some kind of like, what are these, palm trees designs? I'm not sure. Definitely a tropical vibe. But yeah, this I'm hoping, maybe it's enough for me to figure out something that I could make for actual Barbie. <laughs> um, so definitely going to hang on to that and see if I can figure out something. I don't have sewing skills, though. So we'll see what happens. 
Okay, so these are her shoes, and so they're like a lime green translucent heel. I don't know who would be wearing this at the beach. Who wears heels at the beach? Like, I don't know of anybody who does. Like, I mean, I understand, like, yeah, you'd wear something maybe where your toes are out. Um, but I don't understand the heel. And I believe the other girl with the same hairdo, it would be, like, yellow shoes, it looks like. And it looks like the flamingo girl would have maybe had teal ones. And then I think there's pink and orange shoes. I do like these shoes better than the pink or orange ones. I think Melissa opened one that came with those if you're wanting to see what those look like. So let me see. If I, get, I think I already got all the surprises. Um, so yeah, it's really underwhelming. <laughs> this one, uh, I've <laughs> definitely, I wouldn't say that please don't spend like $14.99 on it. Um, I did it just because I know it would bring me joy just because I find it so funny that it's so terrible. But I definitely would not want other people, um, like, please know you're not getting a wig, which the wigs are terrible. I, I don't want them anyway. Um, even the hair extension is uh, not really something I want to mess with, but I do prefer Barbie to have rooted hair. Um, I'm gonna have to take a look because people were saying these really remind them of like the cheap five dollar swim Barbies that you can get at like Walmart. But I don't know, do those actually give you some <laughs> rooted hair uh, more so than even this? Because I don't know, I didn't think Barbie, I thought Ken was the one who like always got these like molded hairdos. I didn't think they really did it on Barbie. Um, so yeah, I just think I don't know. I don't know what Mattel is doing. Like this one doll of the year, not this particular one, because this just came after. Uh, if I had to guess, I think this was their probably best seller. I mean, even though she can't sit and that really bugs me and I don't really like the fabric tail um, or that the tail can fill up with water. Um, so there's still things I don't like about the mermaid ones, but I think the rooted hair people were all for. Uh, I don't know what people thought of these because people really don't like the whole painted on leggings. Um, and I know people, even her, she's got, you know, this is painted on. Um, if you go back and watch people who've had like Barbies from like the 80s and 90s, even like uh, it's just a lot more impressive, I think, of what you would get. Like, you would get actual, like, fabric clothes and they'd be removable. Um, I think it's just gotten very, uh, like, a cheapness uh, is happening for some reason. Um, and then I think with these, I mean, you spend $15. I think they're charging us for this whole, like, one-time paint experience. And I'm really tired of gimmicks. I'm tired of surprise toys too. Like I don't really like um, this whole like not knowing which one I'm going to get because I really wanted the flamingo and <laughs> I didn't get the one I wanted. Um, but yeah, so I will take a picture and put her on Instagram after I get all the paint off of her, um, which hopefully won't be too hard. Sometimes these are a little bit of a challenge to really get all the paint off, especially like any all this creases in the hair um kind of worries me um because sometimes that can be the trouble spots to really get clean and you can see this one i actually on her uh below her like booty butt i actually still didn't get some of her paint to come off so yeah so the color block ones and the shimmer ones my favorite thing was that we were getting some earrings um, especially since I'm kind of bummed that the Barbie extra ones, they don't make the earrings removable. I think you can clip them, but again, I don't super know how to do that. So, I don't know. Hopefully maybe I can make something out of this though, with my very minimal skills. So, thanks for watching. Bye!